Hello, welcome to the Standable 3.0 Quick Start Guide. Now this is just a placeholder guide while I update the Standable VR documentation website. Once that is all completed, that will be the go-to place for anything regarding Standable and setup. Alright, we've booted up SteamVR here and you should see your proxy trackers show up in SteamVR as well as the standable UI as a SteamVR overlay. Before we hop into any games, we need to set our floor height. That is this button here for the floor section. So what you do is you throw one controller on the ground, set floor controller. That should update this number. And if you want, you can also drag this to uh, adjust it yourself. But I recommend just using the controller because it's most consistent. After you set your floor height, I recommend if you are using VR chat, which we will be for this tutorial, go down into the other section and set the recommended VR chat settings. Just click that, then set recommended settings. What this will do is set any of the VR chat settings, specifically some IK settings. For the quick start guide here, we'll just be using VR chat, but Standable works in any full body enabled VR game. All right, so now we are in VR chat. And there's one thing that we do need to change in the settings, and that is our user real height. Now, we need to make sure that this is at least roughly in the ballpark of your IRL height. If you don't know your real height, you can just press this button while looking forward, and it'll get the rough estimate. So now that I have my real height in here, VR chat should now be ready for calibration. So there are two different modes for calibration. There is the automatic calibration, which is new to version 3.0. The second option is to do it manually or what we call legacy calibration. If your game of choice does not have automatic calibration, you will have to revert back to manual calibration, which is still fairly easy and straightforward. For automatic calibration, all you do open up the VRChat quick menu and press the calibrate button. What Standable will do is detect that you're in calibration mode, it'll hold a T-pose for you, it'll do everything you need. Now the goal of automatic calibration is to align your avatar without any work on your end, and this is I would say 90% true. There is one final part of the calibration process that will be automated once VRChat implements some final things on their end. That one thing is the stance alignment. So you can see in Steam VR, my standable tracker is not perfectly aligned with my avatar. Now some avatars, it will be properly aligned just due to circumstance, but Standable currently does not know how to properly align that because VRChat doesn't send the proper data. That will be fixed in a later patch as VRChat implements this. Now, how to fix this, if you go into your settings and calibration, you can manually offset the adjustment. Uh, so stance adjustment offset. So my stance adjustment here, I know that my number is 25. So then if I recalibrate here, we can see that they are, it is now properly aligned when calibrating. So you'll have to find your number for what works for your avatar. In a future patch, this will be completely automatic as well. Sometimes Stanbill's floor or height is not exactly correct, so you might get bent knees. The way to fix this, if you hold a T-pose, you should hear a click, put your arms back down, They'll calibrate your height properly, and you just need to recalibrate through VRChat. And now your legs will be straight when standing up. So there's one other issue that sometimes can arise, and it is when your feet are either in the ground or hovering above the ground. Sometimes that is due to the fact that your user real height is off. So if I adjust this now and then calibrate again, that will fix that issue. So once you've calibrated, that is basically all for basic calibration and getting standable working within VRChat. Now you can walk around, you can find my chair here, you can sit down, you can lay down. Mm. 
Yeah. Now, if you want to use other full body tracking devices, I recommend going to the quick start guide for mix tracking. There you can learn how to get mix tracking working and set up. If you need any extra help beyond these quick start guides, you can also head to our Discord where we have support ticket system and a bunch of people willing to help. And if you want to mess around with custom poses, we also have a whole section for that. Thanks for trying out Standable and uh, have a good one.